hello everyone welcome to this uh, video now i will demonstrate how we can download and install metasploitable 3 vulnerable ubuntu version earlier i have demonstrated how we can uh, download and install the vulnerable windows server 2008 uh, using this requirements packer vagrant background reload plugin virtual box so there were some problem in the installation of the ubuntu machine so we can uh, try the development and modification but for now i uh, figured out uh, one easier method actually so for that we need to uh, download this uh, pre-built ova file and then we can import it and then use uh, in our virtual ethical hacking lab so first we need to click this link i will leave this link in the description and you need to download this OVA file around 2.9 gigabyte. So this is the instruction you can see. We need to import the machine and then we can choose uh, around 4 gigabyte or 2 GB RAM. So you need to click here and it will start the download process. And as you can see here, Metaspatable 3 Ubuntu OVA file I have already downloaded and it is located here. Uh, it's placed in the downloads folder around 2.68 gigabyte. Now I need to import it. So for that, uh, uh, Metasploitable Windows is already done. So now we will actually import uh, the Ubuntu machine from this location. It is located in my downloads folder. OVA file I will select, open then click on next and then uh, cpu it's given two cpus but i will just change it to one and then 2 gb ram is given by default you can uh, increase it to 4 gb after the import is done and the machine folder actually i will change it like i will change it to my d drive you can just uh, click next uh, select the default and uh, for me i will just use this location because i am running out of space in c drive so instead i have some space in d drive uh, so i'm just selecting this folder so now i'll just select it and then click on finish and it will start the import process as you can see one percent already complete and the process is going on once the import is finished we will be able to start the machine it will appear here and this link will be given in the description and after the import actually we can uh, check uh, using our uh, parrot security machine which is already running and we have Uh, we have a NAT network and uh, uh, we have an uh, I mean NAT uh, and one and uh, I mean one NAT by default NAT network. I'll just show you. And import is going on. By the way, it will take some time. So in between. So this is Parrot security, and I'm using this uh, NAT network adapter. One I'm using NAT attached to NAT. And adapter to I'm using net network external actually I have uh, named it external and if you want to see what is net network external we'll go to uh, machines tools network manager here you can see net network external is uh, 192.168.100.0 slash 24 this is the subnet and that you can see here this is 192.168.100.4 so this is attached i mean uh, the import is successful as you can see here we'll go to uh, settings uh, sorry proper yeah settings and there you can see some invalid settings we need to change that like uh, it requires vm as vza in display so 
so the error is gone video memory we will increase it and then you go to network directly and you can see we have a net network and then there is a host adapter 2 we will also uh, enable the third network which is uh, our net network and we will select the external network that I have shown you earlier and we will start this machine and then we will actually it will be uh, in the same network uh, this network external network 192.168.100 and it will be assigning some I mean uh, the metaspertable Ubuntu machine will be getting one IP address in this subnet range that is external network net network and we see some errors here so we will click on switch and it will start so I find uh, found it easier so easier method uh, instead of uh, building your own metaspotable free Ubuntu machine from scratch this way you can uh, start building I mean uh, export uh, sorry import the OVA file so let it boot and then we will actually check so in this machine uh, you can see uh, the login uh, username will be vagrant and then uh, password is also vagrant let the system start and then we will scan using our end map so it started actually you can see we will log in as background and password as background press enter and we are logged in oh sorry incorrect okay let me try again Yes, so username and password, Vagrant, Vagrant. Check the IP addresses. Here you can see uh, we have uh, this IP which is NAT and then we have 172 ETH0 is 128.3. Okay, we don't have that actually. So instead of NAT we'll uh, try to do one modification in metasploitable 3 so I think uh, we cannot change it because it's already started I mean oh yeah we can I think let me check so adapter 2 this is NAT so instead of NAT we will uh, use NAT network external and this one uh, we will use uh, host only adapter 1 so the idea is uh, you uh, need to uh, actually if you're using host only adapter then that name of the adapter will uh, should be same as with the parrot security and if you're using NAT you have to create a NAT network let's check if we have uh, the IP desired IP no it's not but uh, what we can go ahead and um, scan this IP address instead of uh, so we'll use an nmap scan I mean we'll uh, do an nmap scan on this IP address it is 0 
128.3 press enter and we can see uh, this vulnerability vulnerable services ftp ssh http and mysql there is a web server also so i think we are good to go uh, so we will uh, then uh, in the upcoming videos we will see how we can exploit uh, the vulnerable metaspartable 3 machine uh, one windows machine and one other one is linux machine uh, so thanks for watching guys